In this video, we're gonna go over how to boost reference this Holly carburetor. Now I have it disassembled for the ease of the video, but you can do this assembled. You do have to remove the bowl on the main side of the carburetor. Remember your linkage would be over here on this side and your choke would be over here on this side. This chamber is where your power valve would go, just like this. The setup that the family burnout wagon has now is a supercharger. The problem is, that the supercharger is always sucking air down. So the power valve is always going to think that there is vacuum at these ports. And what we want to do is open and close the vacuum relative to what's actually going on underneath the supercharger. And in order to do that, we're going to run a tube through the body of the carburetor and out of the carburetor and then down to the intake manifold after the supercharger. First, we're going to find a suitable piece of tubing. This tube right here, is a quarter inch in diameter. The drill bit that I have is 4,000 smaller than that. So I wanna make the tube a little bit smaller. We'll start off with 400 grit sandpaper and we'll move up to 1,000 grit sandpaper. That should be about perfect. Now we'll chuck up the drill bit. Now where we wanna drill is we want it to come out right here in this wide spot. So, we're gonna have to drill right in this little divot. First, I'm gonna pin punch the little area. Oh, the area punched, I can drill a pilot hole. Now, the quarter inch drill bit is too big to go all the way through. Because if it does, if you do try to go all the way through with it, you'll puncture the actual bore of the carburetor. You can look here and see that this line, which represents the inside bore of the carburetor, actually goes up through the center of this hole here. So once I got into the carburetor enough so that the tube would stick in, I had to stop and switch over to a smaller bit so I could make sure I didn't uh, blow through the wall of the bore of the carburetor. The bit that I used to accomplish this was a 964th bit and it went all the way through just as we had hoped. So now that we know that it won't interfere with the throttle linkage, we can add our flare nut all right, so we're gonna put the barrel on, take this guy, throw him in the quarter inch clamp, leave about, he ain't much sticking out. With the crimp done, we can slide the barrel up, put the nut on, and we'll put a cap on it to make sure it all works. Here it gets filled with a screw that comes from the bottom plate of the carburetor. So no need to fill this one, but we do have to fill this one. Now we're set it aside to dry. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and want to see more like it. And as always, thanks for watching.